When the patient attends the nuclear medicine department for a bone scan, they are greeted by the nuclear medicine practitioner, who may be a radiographer, a nuclear medicine technologist, or a nurse. The practitioner takes the patient into the nuclear medicine clinical area. This is a radiation supervised area because radioactive sources are used and so entry is limited to staff, patients and essential accompanying people. The practitioner checks the patient's identity to make sure that she has the correct details. Then she asks the patient about his symptoms. She explains what will be happening during the study and answers any questions that he might have. The practitioner inserts a small needle into a vein in the patient's arm. The needle is attached to a short plastic tube to which the practitioner connects a syringe. The syringe is shielded with lead because it contains a radioactive chemical called a radiopharmaceutical. When the radiopharmaceutical is injected into the vein, it will slowly concentrate in growing bones. After the injection, it takes about three hours for sufficient radiopharmaceutical to accumulate in the bones. During this time, the patient can wait in the nuclear medicine department, or if they wish, they may leave the department and return three hours later for their pictures to be taken. This patient is having a nuclear medicine bone scan. About three hours ago, he was given an injection of radioactive chemical, known as a radiopharmaceutical, which will now have concentrated in his bones. Some radiopharmaceutical will also appear in his urine, so he goes to the toilet to make sure that he has an empty bladder before his pictures are taken. The practitioner checks that she still has the correct patient. Then the patient is asked to remove any large metal objects that he is wearing, such as his watch, keys, coins, and his belt, which has a metal buckle. This is the gamma camera that will be taking pictures of the radiopharmaceutical in the patient's bones. The patient lies on the imaging couch with his arms close to his sides. Some Velcro straps help to support his arms and keep him comfortable. The bed moves in toward the gamma camera so that the patient is positioned below one of its detectors. There is a second detector under the bed behind the patient. The upper detector has to be moved close to the patient in order to get the best pictures. It will come close to his face, but without actually touching. The bed moves out very slowly as the gamma camera takes pictures of the bones in all of his body. During this time, the patient should keep as still as possible, otherwise the pictures will be blurred. It takes about 20 minutes to take pictures all the way from head to foot. When the whole body pictures are finished, it may also be necessary to take more detailed pictures of one particular area. This is often done using a technique called SPECT, which stands for Single Photon Emission Computed Tomography. The gamma camera rotates around the patient, taking pictures from lots of different positions. A computer will reconstruct these pictures into cross-sectional images, which show details of bone growth. It takes about 10 minutes for the camera to rotate all the way around the patient. Sometimes further pictures may be required using a low-dose X-ray CT scanner attached to the gamma camera. For this, the imaging couch has to move the patient further into the gantry. These CT pictures will provide additional anatomical information to localise any abnormalities seen on the bone scan. When all the necessary pictures have been acquired, the practitioner checks that the patient is okay. And then he is free to leave the department. <laughs>